Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Kagero Deception 2. This is Mysterious JG, your friend of the digital age. Uh, pausing to take a break, drink here. Now when last you joined me, we saw all the plot stuff for this mission. Because I kind of wasn't thinking and rushed right into it and then realized I needed to split the video. But now we are going to deal with... We've got a, basically one another group of red blood people who are coming... They now know the king is dead. They should be planning for the future, but they've decided they have to get revenge on Millennia, the girl who killed so many of their comrades. And while it's understandable, it isn't doing much good for us. So let's uh, make sure that they pay for uh, their recklessness. And this isn't really the way that I wanted to go, but oh, okay. um, I want to set some traps up in here. No, I might regret this if they make if I end up being forced back into that room, but. Pretty cool electric ball of death going there, even in the hallway. They are heading this way. So let's be ready for them in this room. Uh, I'm having a real hard time with controls here, sorry. So this is the room where we will actually have time to be ready for them when they show up. Let's get the old spring floor going, that's a favorite. Let's get the volt magnet going. Yeah, it's an old trick, folks, but it's a good one. One, two, three, four. And let's get the old volt rock going. And if we're really lucky, we will be able to, even though they're moving kind of in tandem, we'll be able to set this thing off in such a way that at least one of them will get totally wiped out before the other one starts killing us. Good, one of them is ahead. Maybe I will get both of them here if he... It's not going to be dumb enough to wander in, though. Oh, he did wander in, and she got killed. Oh, good. They're being dumb. That makes my job easier. So let's get out of here before they... Uh... Keith, should I call you captain even on my deathbed? Or should I totally rock your world? Yeah, apparently she had the hots for Keith. Leopold uh, doesn't seem to get any dialogue when he runs into me, so... And he's as... He is always showing up, and he's in the opposite direction. This could be a bit of a problem. If they come up on me at, from two different directions, it makes it pretty hard to set the traps, but... Just have to make kind of an intelligent guess as to who will come after me first. Let's set a nice spring floor trap to throw him. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, it's no good. I can't. Uh, I can't throw him in there and then expect to, because I can't use the judgment in the water if I thrown him in there that way. So, forget that. That's not gonna help. Well, I mean, it still works. It's just, uh... Not as well as I wanted it to. So instead, let's throw him over that way. And, uh... Yeah, it's hard for me to judge how far he's gonna be thrown when there's, uh inclines involved. So let's just do a... Let's assume they'll be thrown into the range of this thing in some way, shape, shape or form. And then we'll get a... some nice death going here. And just hope he gets here before Ninja Boy. So they'll have time to flee this room and set up new traps for Ninja Boy. It looks like he probably will make it here before Ninja Boy, but not by much. I'm coming for you, Millennia. I'm going to fucking kill you. I found her. My brother. Help me, brother. Help me, granddaughter. I hope he did die with dignity. Afraid he can't do that, buddy! No one can help you die with dignity! 
He doesn't stutter, he has a lisp, it's a whole different thing. I'm dead. I'm sorry, Lombard. I couldn't have been to. I just couldn't even more to see my It turned into Daffy Duck if he tried. Now it's Inferno's here, but who cares? Inferno's... You got nothing on Leopold. I believe the ninjas are immune to the floor-based traps, so uh, I have to do something a little different this time. Let's get a nice... Uh, get a nice judgment going here. Volt Magnet, always a good choice. And, uh... Maybe we can drop a lava lamp va vase right on his head as soon as he comes in the door. It's worth a try. You know, for shits and giggles. I believe the ninja... Yeah, he'll be here soon. And the lava vase might be the only thing that's ready when he gets here. I like to think it will be. Oh, crap, you teleporting around like a monkey. Monkeys teleport, you know, folks. Teleporting into the room, that hardly seems fair. How am I supposed to set up traps in advance for somebody who teleports? Well, I'm going to try a set of door-based traps again, but it might just be a waste to try and do that with this guy. You know what? I'm not going to try a set of door traps. I'm going to try to get him to chase me into Super Death. is going to run right into that trap. I overestimated him. Is that not going to do anything? The judgment? No judgment? Alright, I don't know what happened why the judgment didn't work, but, um... Not sure why judgment didn't kill him there, folks, but let's, uh... Let's keep at it here. Jerk. There you go. Bolt magnets work wonders against ninjas. It's all over. I'm coming to join my brother in bleeding dead ninja land. There's Geezer. And these two guys are kind of close together, which is a little frustrating. But let's get some traps going here that will work on these guys. I don't remember if Geezer is going to be affected by... Um, Spring floor or not. No, I can't place a trap over another trap. Well, let's get rid of the lava base first thing. I think we decided that Bolt Rock won't work on this guy. But uh, I'll try it anyway. Maybe the lava dude will come first. One, two, three, four. Set it here. Set the Bolt Magnets. Here, this must be getting old. I apologize, folks. But it is just a lot of fun to kill people with traps, even if you're using the same traps a lot, isn't it? I mean, come on. You gotta be loving this. If you're not loving it, you're just not a sadistic weirdo like I am. Do -do 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 
Can I get here in time to set up the traps? Sort of. Actually, this might be perfect timing. I just need to give a crap about that trap, but oh well. Come on, you gotta look closer to me. Don't just stand there throwing fireballs. Come up closer, you jerk. Fine, he's not gonna come close enough. Maybe he will. All right, that's better. Where's his buddy? His buddy is entirely too close for comfort. He will not be hit by the lava vase because he's already gone past him. Problem with geezers, if he's like the last Shogun class dude I fought, they were like fucking teleporting around. It's not cool. I've lost my perfect health bonus, folks, but perfect genocide is still gonna happen. Actually, you know what? If this is the plot mission, I think it is. Hmm, no spoilers. But, uh... Perfect genocide. Maybe not guaranteed. I blew that. Crap. Probably going around the long way. Fine, you jerks. Don't go into my trap. See if I care. I still got a sweet back tat. Nothing you guys can do. Change that. Unless you, like, kill me and cut off my back or something. I guess you could do. It'd be kind of weird. But... Alright, let's use the same basic set of traps I used to kill Priest Dusk way back when. Well, like, last video or two for you people, but a long time ago for me. Alright, got a bolt magnet going here. Get the old rock. Depending on which one of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Depending on which one of them comes through first, this might not even work. Because what's his name seems to be immune to, like, some of this stuff. The Samurai Shogun dude is, like, immune to a lot of crazy stuff. We'll see who's coming through the door first. Yes. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on you some more. You're very, very much dead now, by the way. What was my life all about? I don't know. I just met you. You can't kill me, that wasn't a good idea. Right, this dude is in the room now. Yes! Free bonus damage on that guy, but I probably want to just vacate the room now anyway. Luckily, I'm heading now into one of the deadliest of the rooms, the ones that I've at least worked out how to use well. Because this is a room where um, I'm totally able to kill uh, King Eclipse. Although, it's also a room where I once got in real trouble fighting a Shogun dude. It just like zoomed across the screen at me once he had a line of sight. So let's set up the uh, classic, classic King Eclipse killing trap. This is a trap that has served us well, folks. Let's see if it can do the business one more time. Don't you love that fireplace? This is probably the last time we're going to see it. Game is very nearly done, folks. Very nearly done. I'm going to miss Millennia. I didn't give her much of a personality, but that's part of what's cool about this game. She's completely silent, stone-cold, murderous hot chick. Girl after my own heart. Are you coming, buddy? All right. 
Doesn't seem to have been affected by the judgment. Maybe I didn't let him get into the uh, water all the way. Oh, damn. I would have thought that was going to work really well. He was going to just wander around in that little rivulet, but uh, no, no such luck. Can't complain, that worked quite well. Um, he was hurt by the Volt Rock, which I didn't think would happen, but I guess if he's already down, he can't use his massive strength to shove it over or whatever he's supposed to be doing when he doesn't get affected by it. Let's uh, set up a judgment trap up here. And maybe a volt magnet going. Uh... Here, and then. Uh... We'll see if he can really resist these rocks at all. Or if that's just an old wives' tale of some kind. How far does that trap reach? Am I setting myself up to get hit by that trap? Fine, as long as I stay on the stairs. I have to book it like a mad woman if uh, he uh, gets a little bit closer here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. That might be it. Keith, it's an honor to be with you. He's not dead. All right, don't get dragged into your own magnet, Millennium. Pull it together, girl. Ah, here we go. Where is everybody? Now I can kill him, folks. And if I go on... I, I forget exactly what the ending is. I've never seen it before, to tell you the truth. But if I kill him at this point and I go on... Uh, you basically get an ending where, you know, the land is plunged into chaos and there's no one to lead. Uh, because you've killed the king and you've killed Leopold, just like the hope for the future or whatever. So, yeah, you just kind of, like, Millennia never really understands what it is to be human, and she just kind of lives alone and afraid and shunning all human contact. And I'm, you know, it seems kind of sad. There's a way to, however, reconcile with Keith. There's a way that you and Keith can become friends and understand each other. I mean, you're not going to be uh, friends with benefits because uh, you are, as he knows, and you don't, brother and sister. But uh, not every game has to have a romantic approach. So in this game, we're just going to try to find happiness with family. Woo! Pardon me, let me take a drink here. I want to make sure my voice is ready for this. Talk amongst yourselves. Feeling a clam, haha. No, just give me a second. Ooh. Is that you, Millennia? Uh huh. It can't be. Oh, Crouch, why are you here? Forgive me, everyone. Oh, he leaves. Never mind. It's a different mission I'm thinking of where you have the option of befriending him, and this one. You just kind of have a non-starter conversation. Perfect genocide because he didn't count as an enemy. Forgive me, everyone, for letting her completely kill all of you with Volt Rock. Except for you, Giza. You didn't even live long enough to get killed by Volt Rock. So and I got 6,000 arc. It's just possible I'll have enough to get that uh, Hellfire by the end of this LP, but I sort of doubt it. I got Volt Rock. 
my boxes. You're the only ones who understand. What should I do? A star, I mean, millennia. If I'd known we'd reunite under these circumstances, I'd rather not have seen you again at all. Oh, that's not nice. That's your sister, dude. I mean, sure, she's like a murderous sister. Uh-oh. Zevergeen? Finally, someone is here. It's Sagat slash Vega. Sagat and Vega have become one being, and they're now hanging out with some bone arrow chick, Orkin. Make sure you follow right behind me. Am I the woman? No. I'm probably the man. Make sure you follow right behind me. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Mr. J. We'll get no thing if we die here. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. You'll protect me, right? Of course. What about that dude who's hiding back there? What's his deal? I was expecting another fight. Oh well. I'd better just take the grail and get out of here. What? Do people still think there's some kind of awesome grail that's going to do something for him? Oh well, folks. It seems like a good place to end another video. I think I'll just end a video with every successful mission now and stop trying to figure out the 15-minute thing. Because I've already blown it here at this point. Alright, folks. Uh, I think there's... I think there are 26 chapters in this game. So you can basically tell how close we are to the end. When we come back, folks... Um, We've got another group of people who want to freaking kill us, as always. We got I think it's twenty-six chapters, I might be wrong. We've got at least two chapters worth of people trying to kill millennia. Because that's what this game is all about. The sequel Trapped, which I hope to be LPing soon, is about people all trying to kill another, you know, girl who's meant to be attractive. We'll get to see that later. For right now I'm gonna do this in the hopes that it helps me to spot the uh, point in the LP or the point where I have to split these videos later. And uh, I'm going to thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you'll join me next time. Bye-bye.